Okay, so now we've done the first two steps. We've created a specification grid in the first steps. So let's have a quick look at mod specs. In the second step, we've taken a specification ID and we've created a function that returns the results of a regression model just based on that ID alone. So for instance, we can do get LM one, which gives us the result of the third, uh, sorry, the first model. Now we can go on to the third step, which is to run the regression model for each of the specifications within the model specification grid. Obviously, we don't want to just run out uh, get LM 96 times, as that would take far too long. Instead, we can use the map function, which is from the per package, uh, which is within the tidyverse, to do this repetitive step. Now, map has a unique syntax, so I'm going to quickly demonstrate how it works using a toy example. Uh, map is an iterator function. It takes an object and applies a function to each element of that object, uh, returning the results of the list. Let's have a quick look. So here we're going to input the vector 2 to 5, so that's 2, 3, 4 and 5. And we're just going to add 16 to each of those uh, numbers. So we get back a list of length 4, 18, 19, 20 and 21. Uh, 2 plus 16, 3 plus 16, 4 plus 16 and 5 plus 16. So the way that I've told Matt to do this uh, function, this plus 16 function, is using something called lambda notation. We have this tilde and this dot x placeholder, uh, which is just a placeholder for the current value of the object being looped over. So in the first case, dot x is 2, in the second case it's 3, then 4, then 5. And that's why we have the results 18, 19, 20 and 21. Uh, stored as a list. We can use map to loop over the set of spec IDs that we have in our model specification grid and run get LM for each one. Mod specs uh, dollar sign spec ID, so mod specs spec ID is just a vector going from 1 to 96, so we can loop over that in the same way that we did just adding 16 in the previous uh, step. So here we'll just run get LM each of these numbers. Now that's going to take a little time to run um, but you'll see that it's returned a list of length 96 uh, because we've got 96 different models and this last element is the result for the very last specification. This is the uh, this 95th one is the result for the penultimate specification and so on. Now getting back the data in this format isn't very helpful, one because it's in a list and two because it doesn't tell us what model specifications these results correspond to. We can't easily see what the specification was for this uh, particular regression that was run. So what does this 90th, 96th uh, result actually mean? Instead we can use a very neat uh, feature of data frames within R which is something called a list column. So let's just look at mod specs again. At the minute, uh, mod specs is just a standard data frame where we have five different columns and each of these columns is a vector. In R, a vector is a set of values that are of the same type. So for instance, spec ID is a list of integers. Uh, covars is a list of character vectors or strings. That's also true of cogvar. Uh, fup is an integer and then cohort is a list of, is a factor variable. Um, so what we can do is uh, have a list as a column within a data frame too. Um, and as I say, map returns a list, so we can put the result of a map function right into this mod specs uh, data frame by using map within a mutate command. Uh, mutate is used to create new columns. So here we'll just create a new column called res. Uh, which is going to contain the results of this 96 regression models. So let's just quickly run that now. Okay, that will take a little while to run again. Right, so now you see we have this new column res, which is a list of tibbles. Each of them is uh, has one row and five columns, length dimensions one by five. And that's because each of them is just uh, a tibble like this that's returned by the getLM function. 
Now, this doesn't work very well because we can't see the results directly. We can just see we've got this list of tibbles. So instead, we can use the unnest function to explode out the res column into the wider data frame. So instead of having a list of tibbles, we'll have five new columns containing the information that was in red. In, sorry, in red, so estimate, standard error, p-value, confidence interval, and uh, low and high. So let's just run that again and add an unnest function. Okay, there we go. We've still got 96 rows in the original five columns, uh, but we also now have the extra five variables, estimate, standard error, p-value, conf low, and conf high. You can't see conf high, but it's just printed there. Um, we can see that the association uh, age 15 for baby boomers using the non-verbal cognitive ability variable and the basic set of covariates was minus 0.169. Uh, let's just save this as mod res. Oh, mod press, sorry. And let's just show that off again. And there we have it. We've got the results of 184 regressions that was very simple to run. Thank you.